In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Welcome everyone to this Mass here at St. Denis as we celebrate on this Tuesday in the third week of Easter. I want to welcome Father Vincent back to St. Denis. He's visiting us from India, and uh, we're happy to have him. He just arrived, he tells me, at midnight last night, so <laughs> welcome. <laughs> to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let's first acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. <clears throat> Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who opened wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that, having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that in your kindness you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders, and the scribes, You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens open, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord, 
I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hand, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you. <clears throat> it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord Today's first reading from the Acts of the Apostles is a continuation of yesterday's reading, which described how St. Stephen, like Jesus, worked great signs and wonders among the people. Also how Stephen debated with the religious authorities, how he got in trouble with them, and how he was put on trial for blasphemy. Then in today's reading from the Acts of the Apostles, the religious authorities stoned him to death for blasphemy. During this Easter season, we generally focus on Jesus' resurrection and how he promises that those of us who are united with him will share in his resurrection. But if we are to be united with Jesus in his resurrection, then we also must be united with him in his suffering and death, just as Stephen was. In a mysterious way, death and resurrection go hand in hand. In fact, death makes resurrection possible because only by experiencing natural death can we be completely transformed and experience new life in Jesus Christ. So even though it's extremely difficult to listen to how St. Stephen was persecuted, suffered, and died, and even though suffering and death are difficult for us in our own lives, we have great hope that through our union with Jesus Christ, such suffering and death will be redemptive and will lead to new life, not only for ourselves, but for others as well.
mindful of our need for God in all things, we bring our petitions to him. For the Pope and bishops around the world, may God continue to bless and sanctify them in their service to others. We pray to the Lord. For political leaders and their responsibility to care for all creation, may God give them the wisdom to lead well. We pray to the Lord. For all who suffer from anxiety or fear, may God grant them peace and comfort. We pray to the Lord. For this faith community and our work of discipleship, may God continue deepening our commitment to spreading the gospel. For the special intentions of this Mass, for the special intentions of Rante Sima Franca, the Canobo family, Lamberta Amante, and for the repose of the souls of Douglas Kim, Natolio Reyes, and Edgar Yelanen. We pray to the Lord. For all of those who need our prayers, and for all of the prayer intentions that are listed in the comment sections of YouTube and Facebook for this Mass, We pray to the Lord. Almighty Father, please hear and answer the needs we place before you. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, 
the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom <clears throat> are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For everyone who is celebrating Mass with us from home, <clears throat> let's pray together the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For Holy Communion, if you would like to receive the body of Christ or a blessing, please come down the aisle in the usual way. If you would like to receive both the body and blood of Christ on your tongue, 
Please come to the center aisle to the Intinction Minister. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord, after Mass, the Mass, Father Dennis and I will hear confessions. We offer confessions after the 8 a.m. Mass every weekday, Monday through Saturday. Father Dennis will hear confessions in a pew near the statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I will hear confessions in my confessional in the vestibule on this side of the church. Also after the Mass, some people will gather in the chapel to pray the rosary, and you're invited to join them if you can. Once again, I want to welcome Father Vincent here, uh, all the way from India. We're glad to have you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. 